As a researcher with a background in electric vehicles and sustainability, I find Elon Musk's recent decision to disband Tesla's entire supercharger network team deeply concerning. The supercharger network has been a cornerstone of Tesla's success and a major selling point for its vehicles, allowing long-distance travel with minimal range anxiety. As a researcher studying the electric vehicle industry, I've been following Elon Musk's recent announcement with great interest. The dissolution of Tesla's entire supercharger network team has caused quite a lot of stir in the community, with Musk hinting at a slower expansion pace and a greater emphasis on maintaining existing station. I can't help but ponder the implications for long-distance EV travel. Tesla owners and prospective buyers are left in a state of uncertainty, questioning what this shift might mean for their future journeys. The extensive and efficient supercharger network, renowned for its speed and dependability, has played a pivotal role in Tesla's achievements and served as a key selling proposition for their time automobiles. This crucial infrastructure facilitates long distance journeys and addresses range anxiety, a significant impediment to the widespread adoption of electric vehicles. The recent announcement of letting go with the team responsible for expanding the supercharger network raises concerns about how Tesla intends to cater to its burgeoning fleet and the broader EV market. And as a researcher studying Tesla's energy initiatives, uh, I can share that. While the electric vehicle company intends to expand its supercharger network, it will do so at a more measured rate for new sites. The emphasis is now on enhancing the reliability and uptime of existing locations to ensure a seamless charging experience for Tesla drivers. And preliminary information suggests that Tesla has commenced relinquishing leases for intended supercharger sites in New York City. These stations were designed to alleviate traffic problems exacerbated by an influence of Uber drivers operating Tesla cars. However, if another company manages to seize these abandoned plots, it represents a significant hindrance to the progression of electric vehicle infrastructure within a prominent urban center. Experts and Tesla fans have reacted with disappointment to this decision. Troy Mikoff, the founder of the Cybertruck Guy, has fiercely criticized the move, labeling it a disaster and emphasizing the importance of the supercharger team in promoting widespread adoption of electric vehicles. Musk has tried to reassure Tesla owners that the supercharger network will continue to expand, but at a slower rate than before. He's placed greater emphasis on maintaining optimal performance and expanding existing charging stations. Unfortunately, this change may result in some areas being underserved, which could limit long distance travel for Tesla owners and discourage potential EV buyers who require dependable charging options. The timing of this action aligns with Tesla's recent below par financial results, casting doubt on its future implications. Was this a near cost saving measure or perhaps the prelude to the undisclosed business pivot? I've been housing as an analyst, I would rephrase it this way. Following the recent controversial move, I acknowledge that Tesla finds itself in a challenging position. Maintaining consumer trust becomes paramount while simultaneously meeting the escalating requirements of the rapidly growing electric vehicle market. 